Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Total War Three Kingdoms Sumaluan campaign. This will be episode 2. And before we get started, I just wanted to say Konchinin Jijichi Shinzai Rong Woman Kaishiba. This will probably be this will pretty much be the same exact thing I just said. Thank you for all the support on the first part. It is now currently the video with the most views on my channel. And definitely the video with the most watch time by far on my channel. So I just wanted to say thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed it and will continue to support. Continue to follow me on the campaign. Spanking Scrubs, shout out to you, man. Thank you for uh, your comments. <clears throat> and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I'm going to keep trying to make... I'm going to keep trying to make better and better content for you guys. So thank you for all your support, and let's just go ahead and get started. As I mentioned to Spanking Scrubs in the comments of my last video, right now my biggest worry is our satisfaction. This is the satisfaction of our characters, we really need to improve it because there's a chance that, I mean, most of them are very low, have very low satisfaction. And I don't want to end up having, you know, multiple characters just leaving our faction. Our spy is in a high, as a high risk of abandoning our faction as well. So we're gonna go for this research, put to selflessness, plus five satisfaction, plus two K population growth, lowers the reduction cost of economic buildings. Uh, it would also give us access to the salt shaft mine, jade trading village, and jade artisans. Something that we don't currently have. We don't have any salt or jade resource plot or resource regions, but it's still worth going down for that satisfaction alone. Da Zheng Ting. Da Zheng Ting. Buddhist philosophy also increases our population growth, lowers that building upkeep. Unlocks the fourth level, the fourth tier of the timber uh, region building. Also, the fourth tiers of, for the tea plantations or for the tea grower building chain. And then the last part of this uh, of this tree, we would be able to get another plus five satisfaction, but we had to become an imperial prince. Plus 10% income from all sources, plus 5 satisfaction. The, the temples now increase your research rate, and they also increase your income from all sources. And that's because you don't have to worry about your uh, public order in this, in this DLC. We did get this clay cup, I think, from the last battle. So we need to equip that on someone. Soon Shu's not too unhappy. Yeah, I can't equip it on her because she's gone, which makes sense. I just wanted to check. 44, 37, 19, 28, 47. We'll equip it. Oh, she already has one. And she's still at 19. Okay, that's really bad. Well, it says the low, second lowest. 1928. I'm guessing this Sima Fu. Oh no, it's already equipped. Okay, I thought I hadn't equipped it yet. Let's just end the turn. I have a request for you. Suma Ying. 184 gold, 97 gold for 10 turns, a warrior's reinforced leather, and we would get a coalition from him. Let's see if I can trade him something else. We have two experts leathers. 
I'm willing to do that. He's, uh, where is he? Alright, Sumo Ying is pretty far away. He's, d he's here, uh, southwest from our position. This is our territory here. He might not be able to support us too much militarily, but him being that far away means that we have room to expand all around us. We don't have to worry about an ally taking our territory. And plus, like I said last part, I like his style. So we're gonna accept wisdom his... Met by wisdom. Yes, my friend, it is good to have someone we can agree with. Hopefully we can get that to an alliance at some point. Suma Luen formed a coalition with Suma Ying. Suma Yu declared war on Suma Dan. Brothers in arms, it's been a long time since you've seen your sworn, your sworn kin. China is vast, and the country's needs are many. You've been separated in the name of progress for so long. Upon being reunited, there is little anyone can do to stop you embracing. Overjoyed at finally seeing one another again. But send satisfaction to Sun Shu for ten turns, and the relationship is deepened. Our spy is now at Shengong Lumber Yard. Ni Shongting Kung Fu. Just clicked on that. I always forget. Because it looks like it's still highlighted. Let's check the court. Suma Tian. Suma. Suma Zhang. Hu Tian. Hu Tian Ti. Why oh, she's level 4? So is Bai Dang. They're both pretty old. Or by this point time, they'd be considered old. It's like middle aged now. Alright, we got a little bit of money. Currently building the farm laborer camp in Yu. I will do what must be done. Can't build anything in Shang Shang Dang. We're going to move up slightly to the border between our two regions, replenish for one more turn, and then next turn we'll attack Tai Yun. We will invite Shu Yan to join our coalition. You will receive a diplomatic bonus for the factions that you side with in this vote. Coalition to defeat barbarians. We withdraw it then. Shu Yan rejected the offer. Did not join our coalition. I would ask this of you. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The devious attendant doesn't do too much. It's like plus two authority and plus two cunning, I believe. It's just a call. It's just a common ancillary. Rather have that money. Faction faction succession. Tian Ben succeeded by Tian Wei Tian Wei Huang. New blood comes to lead another faction, carrying on their hopes, dreams, and ideas. Soma Yang declared war on Suma Dan. Suma Mo joined the war alongside Suma Wei. They're both at war with Tian, Tian Wahong, or now Tian. I forgot the guy's name. Cha Chong, Cha Chong joined the war alongside Suma Wei. They're all going to war with Tian. Oh, I, oh, I was thinking it was this faction. It's a different faction. They're at war with this faction. Tian Wai Hong, Hong. They have a jade mine as well. Man, if only we were in a better position to take that. For the 
dynasty. Man, we are replenishing very slowly. At 8%. About 32, about 32 men. No, that's too much. About 17 men a turn. We may have to wait one more turn. We built something. The farm laborer camp in Yeo. Chun Yu Mo is recruitable. Spy event. They are now in Shengyong. Weapon craftsmen still haven't been able to be recruited by the by Suma Wei. We can now build something in Shengdang. Increase our food by 2. Upkeep by 18. And it would increase the garrison by 7 units. Might not be bad to go for. Only making 128 gold here. Sorry about that. As I was saying, we we're making 128 gold from this, from Sheng Deng alone, which is pretty pitiful. Yeah. More noble support, along with more food production, or we could get a food trader. And that would give us a pretty fair amount of income, plus 220. That's more than we make in the entire province of Shangdang. Oh, this also increases our income by, it would increase it by 20. You know what, let's just save up for now. Or we'll upgrade the mail to the mail post, get some more noble support. An increase of 20, and then also another increase of... What'd it be? 120? Plus 25%, that's... 30. So this would go up to 150. We'll go ahead and upgrade that. I am loyal. To myself. They don't have any walls with that no trebuchet. Strike now. Let's just go for it. To war. <clears throat> we'll quick save. Start the battle. Unpleasant business this, but all the same, deal with them. Continue. Drifter Workforce Camp. Provide work and a home and the people will contribute. No, I was considering sending my cavalry from us 
from the other side by themselves, but that wouldn't be that wouldn't be an intelligent move because those towers would just decimate them. Or they might not. This la this latest patch they lowered the arrow damage of towers for lower level settlements from I think it was at a thousand to down down to one hundred. So they decreased it by ninety percent. But still, cavalry is, is, is especially vulnerable to those towers. Stand ready. Crossbows, stand ready. Crossbows, stand by. Prepare. Load crossbows. Oh man, we got a ridiculous amount of archers. Load your boats. And only two infantry units. We're just going to attack down one path. Let our Terebiches do some work. If they can fire now, they can hit that entire group that's all bunched up. Okay, that wasn't as ideal. They barely hit the front of the group. They had to hit like in the middle. See right here, if they hit now. They're actually running towards us. Oh, uh, look Our at this. This, this team militia are just gonna be destroyed completely. No shields. Hardly any armor. Actually, I kind of want to check something. I've never taken off the arrow trails in this game. I usually t take them off of every Total War game that has them. No, it's not that. It's... It's interface. Projectile trails. Confirm. Resume. There we go, that's a little bit better. I forgot I have macro keys on my mouse. So now I can use that to select groups. Control groups. You know what? Those are just archers. Let's move our cavalry around and get them ready to attack. The crossbows will focus on the team militia. Our archers have destroyed their archers already. Do they have any other units? Nope, they don't have any other units, so this is their last standing group. Their last group standing more is more like it. And there we go. Claim the victory. They were moving up. They were about to start getting hit by arrows. In the battle, we utterly annihilated them. These archers, man, in that small amount of time that they were able to move up, still got 59 kills. Archers are so damn deadly in this game. But look at our crossbowmen as well. They lacked a coherent strategy. We go ahead and occupy it. Only lost 65 men. Let us make use of it. 
During construction efforts in the new town, a section of bamboo scaffolding collapses in a horrific accident that crushes many of your men, leaving some dead and many injured. Apart from the lost manpower, the remaining workers are also demoralized, drastically slowing the colonization process. Plus two construction time command rewide. Pay for doctors. Pay to resume construction. Noble individual. Plus ten satisfaction for five turns. We'll go ahead and do that. Taking pity on the injured, you spared no expense to send doctors. The workforce must be cared for if productivity is to be maintained. Continue mo. Did we check that? Yeah, he's not legendary. He's level four already as well. Taiyun. We've got the communal workshops increasing, in giving us industry income. We're gonna probably switch that over to. Is this a new building? State workshops goes to communal workshop. This is what we have. Government workshops, recurrency inspector office. Lowers corruption. Oh no, that's not new. I may go for the 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 private workshops instead to give increases to industry income. Since we're gonna have the uh, since we have the toolmaker here and the iron mine, we don't have the money for that though. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Then we'll go for the iron mine. Consider our proposal. We'll give them. He wants us to give him 80 gold or 80 coppers, whatever the currency is, for 10 turns. And he'll give us military access. Sumayong. Where are you? This is our territory. He's right there. I mean. We don't even need it. This territory is right here, I'm guessing. Here and on in this uh, region right here on the coast. Yeah, that's not something we need at this time. It is your choice. Kushan. Kushan. Faction succession. Tian Wei Huang. Succeeded by Fanti, new blood comes to lead another faction. Oh, faction destroyed Fanti. This faction is no more, leaving one less warrior on the battlefield of history. They may be remembered, or their very name may be consigned to oblivion. Spy returning Lao Min Ti. The spy is preparing to return from their target faction, although the scouting mission was was a success. They were unable to secure employment. They may have lacked the desired qualities or their timing may simply have been unfortunate. Unless circumstances change, they will soon be ready to receive new orders, but we must be cautious about arousing suspicion should we choose to send them back. Laba Festival. It is the day of the Laba Festival. As is the tradition, you gather your officers together and tell the chefs to prepare the traditional Laba Konji. A simple dish while traveling the roads, but the mix of rice, beans, and dried fruits lifts the spirits. Good omen, plus 10 noble support for 5 turns. Fanti. Oh, Fanti left his faction. And we can actually recruit him now because his faction was destroyed. Only level 1. It's okay, we'll pass on that. Now, how can we attack this iron mine? Oh man, we had to go all the way around the mountains. You go through this way. 
We're not at war with this faction. How many turns? It says three turns. It would take four turns just to go that way. Okay, we'll start moving this way. We also still need to continue to replenish. 1,098 gold a turn. Can't build anything at this point. So let's go ahead and just end the turn once more. We are in concert and should ally. We will invite Teen Empire to our joiner co coalition. We can invite the Teen Empire to join our coalition. That doesn't really make sense. It says that they wouldn't be willing to join. We will follow our well. coalition partner. Goodbye. Land grab. Without your command, one of your retainers is aggressively driving peasants peasants from their lands and centralizing land ownership in a commandery. This has reduced the amount of tax-paying peasants, but public maintenance and administration has risen. You stop this. Minus 10 to Chen Xentin for 10 turns, plus 5 spirit alignment, unencumbered peasantry. We make more income, lose some noble support. Farm hand plus 5 noble support, minus 15% income for peasantry, plus 5 mind alignment, plus 5 satisfaction. I want to help the peasants. But based on Sumin Luen, I feel like he would go with the landlords. Can I not mis minimize this? I want to see what her satisfaction is currently at. We'll go for... I'm going for the peasants. Those taxes are required and the landowners must know their place. You rebuke the magnate. She's at 11. 11 satisfaction. Leeting Ru. Fifty. She's a saboteur and a sentinel. She's got sage's armor. We can now build something in Taiyun. Get upgraded to a large town. Or we can upgrade the tool forge to a tool workshop. We want to get that army forge. Plus 4k population growth. We're going to upgrade to a large town. Wisdom guides. We're almost fully replenished. I think we're just gonna go ahead and start moving towards the iron mine. Strike quickly. And that's it, we have no more money. We'll end the turn once more. Seize this chance before we reconsider. Who Hu Twanting will sign peace with us? They give us a 344 gold a turn for ten turns. That's 3,440 gold, but 
I think we'll make more money from that iron mine alone, especially overall, in the long run. So we're gonna reject that. Someone went. Oh shit, they actually have an army. Suma Mo has been succeeded by Teng, Teng Bao Hui. Teng Bao Hui. Suma Wei declared war on Suma Tai. Teng Bao Hui joined the war along some, alongside Suma Wei. They're both at war with uh, Suma Tai. Coming of age, Suma Shu. Glorious day, this child has come of age. He's ready to serve your faction. So must you. True enlightenment, enlightenment comes not only from inward focus, but also outward generosity and thoughtfulness towards others. A pure gift, given with pure intentions to a pure recipient, is the very essence of generosity. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Peasants finally flourish and prosper with their overly greedy landowners curtailed. However, with their authority checked, order and the commandery has slipped. How to rectify this situation? Leave them be. Unencumbered peasantry increases our income for peasantry again for another five turns. Use some more spirit alignment in the toolmaker. Send soldiers firm hand. Gives us noble support. Lowers that income. I'll just leave them be. I don't know why we would uh, help them prevent the landowners from taking advantage of them and then send soldiers to basically get them back in line. You do nothing, knowing that once they have had their fun, they will settle down. Sumaluan has leveled up from that. A lapping tide erodes stone. Surprise attack. When the opportunity is right, let discipline be second to the unconventional. Let's say expertise for resolve, ability of surprise attack, active buff. Wow, man, look at that. It gives us, it gives our units 50% speed, an extra 25% melee damage to their base and their armor piercing, makes them cause fear and stalk. And with that guerrilla deployment, man, we can use that to have Suma Luan and his retinue just surprise attack units. A surprise attack armies which makes sense since it's called surprise attack nobility plus eight authority yeah we need to increase his authority even more it'll give us more satisfaction to our characters because he's the faction leader advisor error faction leader minus 10 percent building upkeep Plus 8 authority, plus 50% line of sight. Plus 2 noble support. Plus 8 expertise, plus 10% ranged armor piercing damage to the own, his army. Plus 10% ranged firing rate when commanding. Adamant resolve. What are the abilities he can actually get? Inspiring surge. Decreased, minus 2 second, decreased cooldown of abilities. Judgment. Plus 25% range damage, plus 8 cunning, plus 1 to trade agreements, plus 8 cunning, gives us an assignment, plus 5 reserves faction wide, meditation plus 8 authority enables unbreakable, plus 10 morale when defending, Enables ignore forest penalties, plus 25% chance of avoiding ambush. Plus 10% melee armor piercing damage on army, plus 40% melee attack rate.
I think we're gonna go for... We need the authority at this point, so we're gonna go for clarity. Oh, here it has this ignore force penalties for his retinue. That's really good, man. We can gorilla deploy with this cavalry. Use stock with his ability. And they don't have any f penalties from being in a forest. Yeah, we're gonna... Wait. Oh, we already have that. We already have clarity. I'm an idiot. What did we go for? What did I click? Yeah, we'll go for this nobility. Plus 10 satisfaction to all of our characters now. Two thousand one hundred twenty-three gold. Can't build anything in Taiyun. We're already building something, I believe. Yeah, the town. Can't build anything in Shengding or Yu. Consider and act. Shout fury. Quick save once more. Start the battle. We shall be carried along by a wave of victory. The time is now to enact those intelligent words. Potent words, all. Let your actions be mightier. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that they were in a fort. Okay, so that means another Fortnite thumbnail. I'm just messing around. We're not going to do that again. get all of our archers on that side. The crossbowmen will attack from a different position. How far? Oh, that tower. Now that tower has some range to it. Or these towers. Put them right there. <clears throat> okay, our infantry. Our saber militia will be on that side. Our generals will be here. I think the strategist boosts uh, missile units. So we'll have Sun Shu around our tributaries and around our archers. Our cavalry will be on standby in case they need to react to any enemies leaving the fort to attack us. There we go, our tribute is already starting to impact them. Our men are spotted. 
They've already got 31 kills. Oh, I didn't realize he had... They had three generals. Ting Ping... Ting Ping Bao. Sun Bao Yu. Hoi Huan Ting. You are no, weak. Hoi Tuan Ting. Do not waste your breath. You will need it. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Okay, we're gonna have to counteract their generals. We don't want to go into that those to that tower range. We're gonna have to get our infantry back, crossbows back as well. Cavalry are fighting off Sun Sun Bao Yu, but unfortunately she's a sentinel and we're they're spear cavalry, so they're not good in melee. We need to use our charges. So we're gonna pull them back. Suma Luan and Sun Shu are fighting off. Grows ever closer. Oh, I was about to accept that duel, but I think she ran off. Or she's about to run off. Yeah, she's the routing. No I need to take these guys off a of skirmish. Just get them formed up. Sumerloin and Sun Shu will focus on that general. What was her name? Hoi Tuan Ting. They're just gonna shoot these axe band in the back. Charge into that general. Uh, Sun Shu's getting beat up. Yeah, he's about to route. Need to get our Saber Militia into there, fight that Sentinel off. Alright. She's routing now. So is there. So is Tin Ping Bao? Axe bands destroyed, our archers are routing. The enemy general is fallen. They were no match. And we're done. We're gonna go ahead and claim the victory. And the battle. I didn't expect them to leave that fort. If it were me, I would have just gotten all my units and put them extremely close to the fort walls so that the trebuchets would hit the walls and not our men, but that's the AI for you. They rushed out of the fort. We outwitted them. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a pretty good amount of money. Got a new ancillary, looks like a, a wooden dog or something. A wooden donkey, maybe. Sun Bao Yu, I'm fonder of my head than I am loyal to this faction. Allow me to join you and I will serve you well. She only has axe bands and a team militia. 200 income release.
concern, plus two expertise, plus six authority, plus two noble support if she's a advisor, heir, or faction leader, determined, plus six resolve, plus two instinct, healthy, plus four resolve, plus ten melee evasion. I'm gonna get her just because of this family name. Sure, we'll employ you. Deeds towards the design. Ransom. We're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and recruit. We need to replenish so we can attack In that town. Of the Empire. That trebuchet got 251 kills. Hoi Tuan Ting has been succeeded by Sun Zhao. Sun Zhao. Zhao. Hoi Tuan Ting. Our noble enemies fallen in battle against us, though we may not mourn the passing. They fought with honor for what they believe to be right and deserve our respect. We got- yeah, I, I fucking knew it. Wooden dog. White thoroughbred and intellectual vestures. Embrace impulse. Intel oh, that's what Sun Shu already has. He doesn't have a no- he doesn't have a unique armor. He's got a ceremonial sword. Less armor piercing damage. But more melee damage base. Be still to conserve spirit. Unique Sumaluan's armor. Plus 30 cunning, plus 8 instinct, plus 17 authority, plus 12% speed. Plus 4 resolve and plus 4 satisfaction. My lord. Shishu. Fifty four, thirty five, sixty two, nineteen. We already have an ancillary for her. <clears throat> now we don't need to equip that on anybody right now. We can move some more. Be like the forest, numerous, but without clamor. Not an impressive garrison. To enlightenment. This might be a mistake. Strike quickly. We pulled in the garrison. Quick save again. Start battle. Man, you guys get three battles again. Lucky, lucky you. These trebuchets are really helping us out. They're forcing the enemy to come to us. And we've, with the amount of archers and crossbowmen we have, they just get annihilated by the, the hail of arrows and bolts we're firing at them. Unfortunately, Sun Shu's, Sun Shu's health is going to be very low. Yep. Only got two trebuchets now because of that last battle. Those damn generals attacked the trebuchet directly. Wow, well, Sun Shu there. We're gonna take Suma Luen and his cavalry. I forgot what they're called. Chongnu cavalry. We're gonna deploy them in the forest here. Start the battle. We're not gonna use the uh, trebuchet there. It'd be a waste on this one unit. We're just going to destroy them with this cavalry. The enemy unit flees. What coward. Yeah. 
Man, they're just hunting them down. I don't think a s nope, a single, not even a single man made it alive out of that unit. Completely destroyed. Now we're gonna move around to this forest. Hopefully try to spot them. We'll leave the trebuchet in the back. I should have put these archers in a group. Let's move our missile units up. We're gonna have them walk. Move our infantry up. Have them walk as well. There they are. Two team militia. One cavalry unit. We might move our trebuchet up a little bit. Yeah, we'll move them up at least to here. Run. Stand ready. Go, go. Move Sun Shu up as well. Can't forget to leave him behind. Can't forget about him and leave him behind. Give a little cinematic for you. Ready to ride? All right, these units are hidden. They're slowly moving up. It's just those three units. No, they got another unit. Oh no, this is the captain. Yeah, there is another unit. Another mounted Lancer militia. So we're gonna, need to, we're gonna need to rotate, get our archers turned around, save our militia in front of them. Move these tributaries this way. Some of our cavalry in Suma Luen back a little bit. Come on, get into position. I need you firing. They're almost within range. Go for that cavalry unit if you can. You can actually see them being loaded up. Nope, <laughs> no animation. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that, they both hit like perfectly next to each other. Perfectly missed. There we go, that got a few of them. Move back, or they're still hidden. Switch over to that team militia. Our crossbowmen are beginning to fire. Let's focus on that cavalry unit. Send in our cavalry. Focus on that team militia instead. Our cavalry will take care of their mounted Lancer militia. Let's get Suma Luen into the, that combat as well. Get our Saber militia in. Oh, they already broke. Need this unit to stop firing. Archers stop firing. All right, we'll see you back on the loading screen. I'm gonna hunt down these units. Make sure that they don't have any garrison left or as small of a garrison left 
as we can. And we're back. Unfortunately, that uh, mounted Lancer cavalry, that mounted Lancer captain was able to escape. Still got 24 men in their unit. The rest of their army was destroyed. No survivors. Or at least from this unit. We did take prisoners from the other one. From the garrison. They lacked a coherent strategy. 26 men lost. We lost 26? I think we might have suffered some casualties from our trebuchet. Oh no, this cavalry got 9 kills. But that's it. This unit got 2. Yeah, we must have suffered some friendly fire. Replenish. With resources. Promote calmness. Strike now. To action. Oh man, we can't attack it. Rivals. Sima Luan and Tin Pang Ping Bao are now rivals. What kind of horse do we have? We just have a white horse, we're gonna get that white thoroughbred. A little bit less speed, more mass, plus 4 authority, plus 10 charge bonus, plus 5% chance of evading capture post battle. Definitely equip that. Is it just yellow general satisfaction? Let's go for another reform. We got plus 5 satisfaction to all of our characters. Need to be a prince to get this. To go for, okay, so we need a prince to go for these, this tier of research level. Minus 10% redeployment cost, minus 10% recruitment cost faction wide. Minus 20% character salary. How much are we losing from salary? 725. Lower that by 20%. That'd be about 150. 150 times. Yeah, that'd be a little bit less than 150, about 147. Or 145. It's not too much of an improvement. We don't have any silk or spice at the moment, so we wouldn't benefit from these buildings. Minus 5% construction cost, minus 1 construction time. Industrial tool depot. Artisan tool depot, we do have a tool maker. Plus 20% trade influence, plus 1 available trade agreement. And it would uh, allow us to upgrade our port buildings to tier, to tier 4. Plus two cover cost for enemy spies, plus two undercover network cost for enemy spies, not as useful as well. Mounted archers, spear warriors, saber cavalry, axe band, peasant band, archers. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for the Chao Ren workforce. Plus 10% replenishment for garrisons, that's really good. And minus 20% construction cost for agriculture building. And we're going to be ending this part soon. Yep, it's been too long. Almost an hour. 3,326 gold. Could build that up to a small city or build up the land registry office get some more food some more noble support a little bit more income from peasantry or a much higher income from peasantry but we lose food we're gonna save up after we take that tool iron mine we'll figure out what we want to spend it on <sighs> come on <laughs> we're now we're with Suma Wei, who has declared war on us where is he? 
He's close to us, if I remember right. This is our territory. I think he's here. Yeah, this is his territory. Wow. Man, he has expanded almost as much as us. Yeah, he's got about the same. So has Suma Ying. Suma Yong. I don't see his where he's uh, expanded to. War is declared. Suma Wei has declared open war on us upon us. The ministers urge you respond in kind. Your generals have stated their readiness. They're confident and eager to put this vile pretender and their meager armies to fight in ruin. Let me call your coalition to assist you in this war. All who vote in favor will declare war upon the aggressor. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I did take a quick break. Um, man, we're at war with Suma Wei now. And Suma Ying clearly does not want to join this war. The positive factor is based diplomatic stance to target faction. That means they don't like Suma Wei as well. The factors against it is that they recently have a peace accord. So they, they recently went to peace. If they declare war on Suma Wei, it's going to be considered treachery. Minus eight because of their opinion on it, on going to war with Suma Wei. Minus five because of the wider diplomatic impact, of course, of that treachery. It's going to make their uh, diplomatic stance go down with every other faction. And the distance, they're pretty far away. Man. He's not going to join, so we're not even going to ask for him to join. We'll cancel. It would be wise to pool our resources. He wants to invite Huang Xin. Yeah, sure, whatever. We withdraw it. Then. He rejected it. Okay, so we're no now we're with Suma Wei. We need to build you up our not army. Need fear us. Non aggression pack with Zhu Ro. Tu Ro. He's up here in the north. He's actually expanded quite a bit. Or he at least has like two provinces. And he'll give us some money. Yeah, it looks like that's all we're gonna get from him. Where are we? We're all oh, we're here, we're bordering him now. I'm gonna accept that. Our talks are over. We need to focus back to the south. We're gonna have to fight Suma Wei. Sao Huan declared war on Suma Suma Cheng. Suma Tai Busi. Suma Shangti. Sun Yu Sheng. Sun Yu Sheng. He's got a cool looking helmet. Ready for duty. Sun Bao Yu is now in our capital. Suma Wei declared war on Suma Luan. Suma Yong declared war on Tu Ro. Tin Empire declared war on Suma Tiong. Ch Sheng Ding large town has finished build building the mail post. Suma Dan has a new capital at the livestock farm in Zhongchan. Someone leveled up. Suma Shu. Is 1860 satisfaction. We can give him a better armor. He's currently just got instructor's leather. Minus 5% speed, minus 5% melee attack rate, plus 6 charge bonus. Minus 3 expertise, plus 6 authority. It's a much higher rate of armor. 
This lowers the armor base slightly. Oh, this is like the next level of the instructor's leather. Fine, we'll give him that. Don't need to improve his satisfaction. Since he's the factioneer. Son Bao Yu. Who do we have in our court? Sun Yu Shang. A vanguard. Militant. Unyielding scale mail? Wow, man, that looks cool. Minus 10% melee attack rate, plus 12 charge bonus, minus 10% speed, plus 9 instinct, minus 12 expertise. I like that armor. Sumo Shang Ti. Thick leather hide. This is 52, level 2. This 30, level 2. That's okay, let's do what we're gonna do. May wisdom flow. Ta Yun. We're just gonna delegate this. It's 29 men. We outwitted them. We lost one man. Occupy. This will meet our needs. Faction destroyed Sun Zhao. Sun Zhao. Zhao. Sun Zhao. This faction is no more. Tai Yun Iron Mine. Commander is secured. It's just the same things. We now have the Iron Mine. 314 gold from this province. 321 from industry. Why does it say 400 plus minus 20%? What is taking away? Something's taking away from our industry in income. It's dropping it by 20%, so it's dropping down by 80. Is it one of his traits? Superstitious. Deceitful. Defiant. Suspicious. No, none of these traits are lowering it. I'm not sure why. 100 income from open iron veins. Plus 200 income from industry in the next level. No movement points left. We gotta rush down back to Shang Dang. Get ready to fight Suma away. We need to build up this army. Sun Yu Shang 2650. Suma Shang Ti. We don't need another commander. Probably need a vanguard. Is a champion? Maybe a champion. Shu Shu. Suma Shu is a sentinel. Suma Chen. We'll go for Shishu, he's actually pretty cheap. That's because he only gets... Team Militia. Lift the peasants. Shangnu Cavalry. Mounted Saber Militia, Mounted Lancer Militia. We've already got Cavalry. My Champions. Lord. How can I serve? Spear and Glaive Infantry. We get some Spear Guards. 
And that's it for now. I think when that trebuchet will really help. We don't need to build it, max out that army right now. Now let's see about that money for Tai Yun. This is what's going to make us the most money. And we're going to call it here. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the content, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below what uh, you believe we should do next. Give me some advice on our war with Sumo Wei. What kind of uh, armies does he usually use? If you guys have fought him before. And feel free to give me any other uh, any other advice that you can think of. And thank you for watching. Shishine the Shokan. See you next time.